Hi there, I'm Howard Butler, and today we're going to talk about tiered storage and how to optimize this environment to get the maximum throughput possible. But first of all, I think it's important to understand that when you have a Windows computer system, it doesn't really talk to or know anything about the direct storage in a SAN environment. Certainly you can have a, a combination of solid state drives, 15,000 RPM drives, medium speed 7200 RPM drives, or even some slower, less expensive storage of 5400 RPM drives. But the point is, is that Windows doesn't really map or understand the physical technology and infrastructure at a physical SAN storage level. What Windows really sees is a virtual representation known as a file system map. Now when a user goes to access a document, it's got to go from the application that you're using, in this case, Microsoft Word. It's got to talk to the Windows operating system, which talks to the NTFS file system, dealing specifically with what's known as the master file table. This is like a table of contents. It knows everything from security attributes all the way down to what pieces are involved in an individual file. Now, a file will be referenced based upon its logical cluster address. So maybe the address starts out at 13747 for a size of, let's say, 64 clusters. Then maybe the next piece of that file begins at 14102 for a cluster size or a combination of clusters of 12. And then the next location might be at 9,742 and for a size of, oh, 128 clusters. So as a result, you wind up having a file that has a number of pieces, maybe one piece here, maybe another piece right there, and then lastly, maybe a third piece right there. So each of these I.O. requests or I should say, when accessing this file, each of these pieces then have to map to a particular location within Windows to find that data to issue a separate individual I.O. request from the computer, from this virtual disk, out to the SAN storage, and then let the SAN storage try to pick out which type of media best handles the frequency of those I.O. requests. Now, as you can see, a file that's in three pieces takes three individual I.O. requests, resulting in far more traffic back and forth from the SAN to the virtual uh, storage device up to the server. This results in longer elapsed times, slower response to the application, uh, simply just makes less efficient use of a very sophisticated type of storage technology. So rather than having such a a great number of extra I.O. requests going from the application through the virtual disk over to the SAN storage, generating all this extra I.O. traffic. Conducive Technologies has created a software product that has a specialized technology called IntelliWrite that allows or ensures that when an, a file is being created and written that the range of logical clusters that are used winds up in a file being written to the virtual disk in one contiguous range of addresses, such that when an I.O. request is generated, the fewest number of I.O.s goes from the user to the operating system, through the MFT, to the virtual storage space, and then out to the SAN storage. So in this particular case, where we can map a file into one piece, there would be one I.O. request instead of all of these I.O.s back and forth. So as a result, you wind up getting more throughput, greater level of efficiency, better use of your SAN uh, tiered storage, all with no, no added overhead. It certainly makes sense to me. How about you? Thanks very much.